That's a little bit better to me. That's a little bit more my style right there. Welcome back to show your real estate today. Paul Jamison here with Tyler Bruce from Norwood Armstrong and Stokes. And of course, Sandy Dickinson with Cross Country Mortgage. Myself, Paul Jamison. We're talking real estate to show your real estate today. I own the Jamison Real Estate Companies. Sandy Dickinson is with Cross Country Morgan. And of course, Tyler Bruce, attorney at law, is with Norwood Armstrong and Stokes. That's pretty interesting stuff, Tyler, about uh, Myers Park and, uh, you know, all that. I'd, I'd love to, 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 I'm sure it's written down somewhere, some of the crazy stuff that went on when they were developing that whole area. And, uh, a lot of really neat history. I had a client, I sold a house down there on Queens that was a part of the pecan farm that was there, that was a part of Mr. Myers estate. Uh, that sure. was a pretty cool house, man. It was like, a, you know, you know, uh, gone with the wind the stairwell you know when you come down and there's like stairs on either side and of course they all that's what their foyer looked like it was just it was amazing it was beautiful all sounds right. beautiful it was so thank you for sharing that all right sandy yeah um we have spoke before about choices mm -hmm. so we talked before about opportunity opportunity also creates choices and choices are in my view an opportunity coming into 2023 did that sound like a jumble of words or did that make sense i think it made sense it did in my head when i started talking <laughs> so people have choices right Correct. but first of all what's more important is their choices are limited by their credit score yes they are <laughs> yes they are <laughs> <laughs> okay so just give us a benchmark uh most of 40 740 gets you the best rate. Does that get you the most choices? Most choices. Yeah. Um, I always ask, I always wanted to ask this question. So let's say somebody has a 740, mm -hmm. but they want an FHA loan. They could get it all day long. As long as they don't borrow more than 42680. <laughs> Okay, so they can get an FHA loan. You can have a good credit score and not a lot of cash, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, okay. But if you have a 740, you can also get a 3% down conventional. Yeah, see, see to me, that would be the way I would go, right? Right. I mean, because me it, it's so much better and it has less fees, right? Um, Maybe a better rate. Sometime. You'll get a better mortgage insurance rate, yes. Okay. And, and the insurance will not have to stay on the loan for the life of the loan. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah. That's yeah. a good thing. All right. So, so yeah. So, so choices is the conversation of the day, right? Yes. So when we have those choices, what, what kind of choices do I got? So you have um, a buy down. Okay. What is a buy down? So other a, than a, a, a get down, but you, replacing the you word can do get a with a buy. buy down where you buy five points to bring your rate down. But right now, more popular than that is a is a temporary buy down. What's a point? <clears throat> a point equals one percent of the loan amount. Okay, so I'm borrowing two thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars. So five points is ten grand. That's right. Okay. So most people don't buy five points, and the that's a bunch. The state doesn't really allow that unless you're <laughs> unless your seller's paying. But you know what? I would do that on an FHA if your seller's paying because that will bring your rate down to about in the fours. Okay. Okay. So here's what she's saying. All right. If you replay what she just said, here it is. You can buy down that rate. And what you can do is get the seller through closing costs mm -hmm. to pay for the buy down. Boom. Thank you. Drop the mic, but it's connected to an arm. Um, yeah, that's an arm. Now let's talk about the temporary buy down for just a second. So we have a one zero, which buys down the rate one percent for the first year. Yeah, yeah. A one one, which buys down the rate one percent for two years. Well, why is it called a one one when it's a one percent rate for two years? It because shouldn't be a one one, one for, two. One for the first year, one for the second year. It doesn't change your note rate. Your note rate is still the same. So example, if on a 2-1 okay. buy down. All right, I understand. Example, if you um, have a 7% note rate yeah. 
Um, the buyer will subsidize your payment for two years. The first year are down to 5% and the second year down to 6% and then you'll be back to 7%. But let's look at the market now. By the time that comes around, you will have opportunity to refinance. And that buy down subsidy that sits in an account, whatever's left in there, you get it, which is Ooh, super nice. So dang. let's look at a difference in payment. So if you have a $500,000 loan, and you buy it down 2% the first year, you're saving $642 a month. On p and On p and I. Woo! p and I is principal and interest, by the way. So you, you know what you can get for $642 a month? <laughs> what can you get for $642 a month? You can get a subscription to the steak of the week club. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can buy a car with that. If you buy it down 1%, you get $328 savings a month. You could pay your college debt for that month. <laughs> <laughs> so it's significant. It keeps your That's payment low. That's and, really a lot. And it makes people more comfortable with what they're buying. Yeah. That's, I mean, the whole idea is the, the premise that we continue to talk, right? Talk about real estate is a home. It is a shelter. It is a place of safety, right? Let's look at Pavlov's hierarchy triangle that we learned in school, whatever, food, shape, shelter, safety, all that. The reality is the other one that's not on that triangle is this sucker is an investment. So every dollar you spend has to be working, right? That's and right. you work every dollar through the process. Tyler, isn't that true? The reality is, is we know the rational parts behind investing in real estate. The truth is, it is a way to build wealth. You agree? That's, that's true in my book, for sure. Yeah. I mean, homeowners are 35 times more wealthy on average than people who rent. I think it's probably the most accessible way to build wealth as well, at least in the beginning, right? Exactly. And it's one of the ways that you can control how you build wealth. And Sandy, that makes a great point. The, the options that people have, they're not hearing about that. What no, they hear not. is 7%, 7 and 8%, possibly go to 8%. And it's good for the sellers. Yes. Because rather than dropping their price and reducing the values in the neighborhood, um, it's probably less money to pay the buy down and keep your price the same. That's right. That's right. Creativity, options, and truth. Get the data. Understand the data. Don't assume, A, you have to give your house away through some kind of a gimmick. There are options to optimize that price. And as you all know, we, we talk a lot about one of the things that Jameson is the 72 Soul Program. And you're going to hear a lot more about that come January. But also, we have a big focus for our clients around how to build wealth. And um, Sandy, and I'm sure the for folks at Norwood will be a part of this. Come next year, we're putting on an investment seminar. And it, I am, unfortunately, friends, it will only be for our clients, our investors, and our existing clients. But the whole purpose is how real estate, through tax, through opportunity, and through um, growth, can help you build wealth. So we'd love to have you at that. We'd love to do business with you. We'd love to have you as a part of the Jameson family. So we do hope to hear from you on that. Um, but one of the things we want to be sure of in January, date yet to be released, we will be putting on that conference. Um, um, Tyler, if people have a question about real estate law or about what any of the subjects we talked about today, how do they get in touch with you? Well, our phone number is 704-529-1100. Uh, and we're online at norwoodarmstronglaw.com. Or what armstronglaw.com. Tyler Bruce, great job. Great having you with us today. Great to be here. Thank you, friend. All right. Also, Sandy Dickinson, Cross Country Mortgage. People want to talk about options. They want to talk about choices. They want to have a conversation. Call my mobile at 704-577-0144. 704-577-0144. Sandy Dickinson with Cross Country Mortgage. And for us, friends. If you want to talk about investing in real estate, building wealth, and that doesn't mean just rental property. If you want to buy or sell a home, you can call us at 846-DUNN, 846-3663, or on the web at myjamesonhomes.com. And don't forget, 
Our tag word is done, and it's that for a reason. We're not just done with the radio. We are helping you get it done. We'll, we'll be talking to you next week. Take care. God bless. The show your real estate today here on News Talk 1110 99.3 WBT.